Where is it? Ah, okay. This is what remains of my um, KISS build. I am um, on my main channel. I did a video where I built one of my freestyle drones using uh, the KISS ESCs and flight control. This is the V1 stuff. It ended with uh, one of the ESCs going up in smoke and I've removed another one of the ESCs for testing something else, but I'm gonna come back to doing another KISS build at some point, but for now something I wanted to address was a question I got which was how I used the Spectrum receiver that I used because on the KISS flight controller there is this port right here that is designed for um, Spectrum satellites which are the small do I have any left? So this is a Spectrum satellite receiver. It was originally designed to plug into your main full-size receiver on like larger uh, airplane sort of things and then it could give you additional coverage. So you could use like a long lead and have this out on your wing while this is in the fuselage and uh, things like that. As many quads started being used, this was a popular option for people that wanted to use uh, Spectrum. The problem is the range wasn't great because it doesn't actually have diversity and uh, the antennas are short so if you stick it somewhere on the carbon fiber it's going to get interference. Um, but it was convenient because it just had this plug and you could plug it in here and on some flight controllers like the KISS one, the other end plugged right in there. It was easy um, to improve the performance of the receiver, Spectrum later came out with this 4648 receiver. Uh, this one is decased, but it uses the same plug, so it's just this 3-pin plug, plugs in on the receiver side, and then plugs into your flight controller. And the advantage of this receiver is it actually does have uh, diversity. So you have much better range while still having the convenience of a satellite type receiver, um, and it's pretty small. The annoying thing about using uh, these are that they run on 3.3 volts, which is why there's this special plug. So this, instead of like most receivers that run on 5 volts, this plug provides 3.3 volts on one pin, uh, ground on another pin, and then the signal input. Now, an even better receiver is the Spectrum 4649T. I like this receiver because it actually has telemetry capability. So when using this receiver, you can actually get a signal strength readout on your transmitter, and if your flight controller is able to provide any other data to it, then you can get that on your transmitter. Um, I think the range is pretty much the same as the 4648, maybe a little bit better, but it's the advantage, I don't run this one because of any improved range, I run it because I want to be able to get signal strength on this. And they are coming out with new features for this, so this this is the receiver I recommend. It is more expensive than the original 4648, but I like this. Uh, the issue though is this runs on 5 volts, like all receivers should. So, you, what you do when you're using this receiver on your flight controller, you hook it up like you would a FreeSky receiver where you give it 5 volts and ground and then the signal input. Um, the problem is when using KISS, when you go into the user interface uh, um, to set it up and you tell it that you want to use a Spectrum receiver, what it does is it looks for a signal that is being input here. So then if you try to hook up your Spectrum receiver to uh, the pad that you would normally use for FreeSky, which is this S bus input, uh, it doesn't actually get picked up because you told it that you want to use Spectrum Protocol, so it's looking for this one. So the solution that I came up with um, is so this is the this is the connector that plugs into this main receiver, and what I did, focus. I started the five volt wire here, the ground wire here, and then instead of hooking the signal wire up to the S bus, which like I said doesn't work, I just soldered it to the back of the signal input wire that would be used for spectrum. So you get your 5 volts, your ground, and then your signal goes where the flight controller is expecting it. And that is the innermost pin here. Let me zoom in real close. So if you decide that this is something you want to do, you see exactly where it goes. So if you are using a KISS V1 flight controller and wish to use this receiver, which is the one that I recommend, the Spectrum 
for 9T. That is how I got it to work. There may be other ways to get it to work. I'm not sure if you can get deeper into the, uh, the user interface on the computer and tell it to look at another pad other than the one that it normally looks at for Spectrum, but I didn't mess with any of that. This is what I did, so hopefully that helps if that's something that you are trying to do. So thank you for checking out this video. This is the this is one of the first videos that I'm doing on this channel where I'm just gonna do quick tips like this, no real production. Um, but let me know what you think and let me know more things that you would like to see covered. And of course, if you're not already subscribed to my main channel, that is linked in the description. And that's where I do my flight videos and my vlogs and all the fun stuff that I love to do. So thanks for checking all of it out and I'll see you next time.